Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our sunrise service. We are celebrating Jesus rising from the dead this morning uh, and that we have victory in that. So I'm going to open up with a word of prayer and then we're going to sing some songs and have some scripture reading and a devotional. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I just, I thank you for today. I thank you for everything that today signifies, Lord, and I thank you for uh, dying on the cross for our sins, but more importantly for raising from the dead because you conquered death, Lord, and we celebrate that today. So Lord, will you just be with us as we take in that victory and celebrate what today means. In your name we pray. Amen. from Matthew chapter 28 verses 1 through 15 the new English version or the English standard version <laughs> now after the Sabbath toward the dawn of the first day of the week Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb and behold there was an earthquake for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat on it his appearance was like lightning and his clothes were white as snow. And for fear of him, the guards trembled and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who is crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he had said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he is going before you to Galilee, and there you will see him. See, I have told you. So they departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. And behold, Jesus met, him, met them there and said, Greetings. And they came up and took hold of his feet and worshipped him. 
Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. While they were going, behold, some of the guards went into the city and told the chief priests all that had taken place. And when they had assembled with the elders and taken counsel, they gave a sufficient sum of money to the soldiers and said, Tell people, his disciples came by at night and stole him away while we were sleeping. And if this comes to the governor's ears, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. So they took the money and did as they were directed. And this story has been spread among the Jews to this day. So um, today uh, we're just going to have a short devotional thought here and um, then you can go about uh, some breakfast or something between now and our Easter uh, service. Um, but that morning, nobody expected what they were, what they had. The guards expected the, the tomb to stay closed. They expected that stone to stay right there. The women had expected the worst. They expected to see their best friend dead. And that was, that was the worst. They were certain they'd be going through the rituals that you perform for the, for the dead people. They had all the things with them to take care of that decaying body. They were, they were certain they were going to see the decaying body of Jesus. They were certain of what they were going to see. And they were despairing. They were, they were in sorrow. But this Lenten season, we've been talking about embracing the uncertainties. When the women went to the tomb, they were met with uncertainty. They had no idea who or what these angels were. They had no idea where Jesus had gone. I mean, he had folded up his clothes and he was gone. Every plan that they had had for that day was shattered to pieces when they found the empty tomb. See, they were probably going to stay there. They're probably going to stay there a while, talk about good memories about Jesus and go home and be in sorrow. But instead, they had something else. What did they do? They rushed back to the disciples and they told them what happened. The despair they had once been filled with, they were, had turned into joy. And there was a little fear there too. The pressure that sat on their chest to the Jesus passing had lifted because, because he, they, were, they were knowing that he was there and they were lighter than air. They were no longer mourning the death of their savior, but rejoicing in a life that seemed to be impossible. They were still uncertain of what had exactly happened, but they knew that Jesus had resurrected and that he was alive. The soldiers that morning, they rushed to the, they rushed to the temple and they're like, listen, this is what happened, guys. And maybe they expected the, temp the priest at the temple to do something else. I'm not sure if I would have expected the priest to hand me money and tell a lie, but hey, that's what happened. And I'm, it's, it's incredible that we have these expectations for the day and it doesn't happen the way we plan. I expected this morning to wake up early, to go get my biscuits and gravy on and get ready and go pick up people. And, you know, instead of staring at a camera, staring into a room full of all of my friends, but I'm not. And I'm, I don't know what, you, what you're doing right now and that's okay. Because today, Easter doesn't matter if it's happening in a church. Easter doesn't matter if it's happening in a church. And I saw this on Facebook today. It doesn't matter if the church is empty on Easter Sunday because the tomb was empty too. So I thought that was quite clever. Um, but this morning, we're not going to worry about where we are celebrating. We're going to celebrate with the women. Mm -hmm. We're going to celebrate with the disciples. We're going to celebrate with our brothers and sisters across the world that Jesus is alive. We don't need to be physically together to celebrate we can be in our own home and when you're finished with this video um, because it's almost over I, I you can certainly go straight on to the Easter service it, it's on it'll be uploaded it's already there but I challenge you to take a few minutes of time between the two between these two videos and rejoice with us maybe it's a little victor dance you want to you know do some <laughs> circle motions this way circle motions that way maybe that's what you do Maybe it's lifting your hands to the Lord and praising God and singing loudly and singing for victory in Jesus. 
I get a little country when I sing that song, but it, it, it brings a lot of memories and goodness to me. Maybe neither of those things are what you do. Maybe it's just reverent prayer that you need. And so you just, you bow your head and you have some reverent prayer. Maybe you journal your prayers or maybe you go outside and just breathe some fresh air and just be thankful and celebrate that God is alive. However you wish to celebrate, I encourage you to do so. Jesus is alive. He is risen. He is risen indeed.